Galileo helped Palmer and Supply store the liquid which came out of the tuber. The liquid continued to flow out of the tuber until it was about half the size of when they'd started. Whether there was much more liquid inside or some more f solid fibres were left inside the tuber would have to wait until later. So they were finishing up another couple of the forsaken who looked like they were normally farm workers came over to help tidy up, store the jars and remains of the tuber, bring the others up to seek out the leader and talk about what to do next. As the trio moved back to the leader's pottery workshop, it appeared that word had already gone on ahead of them. The children scampering around their feet being the most likely candidates for carrying the news about the settlement. Though the elder one seemed to be employed in some kind of work, the younger one seemed allowed the freedom of the settlement, which of course they used to indulge in various games. However, they did also be used for running messages and carrying things to the fields. When the party had reached the pottery workshop, Leader and some others were waiting for them, and immediately turned and walked towards the meeting hall. Once inside, Leader wasted no time in addressing Gilo directly. I presume that your tests had a satisfactory results, and the tubers are a good food source. Yes, Leader. The liquid from the tubers contains a watery milk which is sweet, and I say a few minerals and other things which are good for the diet of your people. The farmer has now tasted the liquid and also believes it tastes quite good, and it may have a variety of uses in food preparation. I can say that though the food takes some getting used to, the farmer followed on from Gallo. The drink is smooth and sweet, certainly not dangerous in any way that I can detect. Also, if I may add, continued supply, as soon as farm had come to a halt, the surface of this tuber, since it is watertight, could possibly be put to countless uses from waterproof coats to water carriers, and maybe more things we have not yet thought about. Very well then, he just started to speak. It appears that digging up the tubers is going to be worth some effort. It appears to remove the threat of the soil moss from the area, and will also in turn provide us with food and materials. Now for the possible problems. Toolmaker, can you tell us how long the current tools are going to last if we dig up all the tubers in the area of the farms, and if they're damaged or worn, how long will that take to repair? Our current supply of tools is running low, especially for those for digging, stated Toolmaker. Were we to dig all the tubers up with our existing tools, it would probably be unusable by the time the task had been completed. We were tempted to make more tools to replace them, however, I lack the metal that they were made with. The replacement tools were made with other materials, but would require substantially more time to make, and they would not last as long or work as well.